Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good guys. Evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to start with different topics today, like the ones that I told you before. And we're going to, wait a second. Okay. Okay, thank you for telling me. Uh, we're going to start with the, 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 those kind of topics today, okay? And But we're also going to do the pronunciation practice. But this day, I'm going to give you two pronunciation practices. The first pronunciation practice is going to be the woodchuck that we already know. We're going to take the time. And the second practice is going to be a practice related to the regular verbs in the past, okay? Because I know it's difficult for you, for some of you, even for me, to know how to say the verbs, the regular verbs in the past with the ED sounds. Because even the last time when we did a little bit of a practice, I heard that you still get confused with some of them. So I will try to do that. <clears throat> Wait a second, I have a voicemail from my boss. Okay, yes, um, I'm gonna start with attendance. So please turn on your cameras and when you hear your name, say present. Oh my goodness. Wait a second, I'm gonna do it from here. Because I don't have enough battery on my phone. Wait a second guys, please give me just one tiny minute. Is it raining where you live? A little bit here. Here it's not raining anymore. I think it no. goes depending on sounds, something like that. Okay. You're not principiante, you're advanced. Sorry about that. Advance, advance, advance. This is advance. <clears throat> Attendance. Here we are. Okay. Oh, where am I? You're the group 23. Here we are. We're almost done with this. Okay, let's go. Today is Wednesday. Yeah, right, it's Wednesday. Okay, we're gonna start. Gonna go with attendance. Wait a second, I have to do the screen thing. Okay. Where am I? What is this? <clears throat> okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Happy birthday to your grandma. Thank you. Harvey Nisak Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. 
Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez <coughs> Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Excellent. Okay, let's see. So I'm missing one, two, six students. Well, at least I have students. You know, uh, in the school that I work in the morning, we only had 11 students today, like for the whole school. From first grade to high school, we only had 11 students. That was, that was crazy. I had only two students in my, in my, in my class. Anna, it was crazy. At least we have a little bit more here. Okay. Uh, the first pronunciation practice is the one that you already know. We're going to go with that one. We're going to uh, practice a little bit and then we're going to take the time. But then we're going to come back and we're going to go with the practice of um, the ED sounds. Then we're going to ask some questions and we're going to try, I don't know, to say the verbs in a correct way. Like actually following the rules that we have to follow with the ED sounds, because there are three sounds. And I know you know there are three sounds because you know them. The only thing is that maybe we forget when we're speaking, right? Like we're trying to speak and we forget how to say them. And that's completely fine because I understand that. But we're going to do some exercises to improve that pronunciation and how to identify them. OK. You already know the woodchuck one is how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Just go, take the time, this practice a little bit, and then take your times, OK? I want you to take the times, how long you take to say it. For example, in my case, many of you bet, I don't know, you, you were really good, good last time. You were better than me. So we're gonna see, <clears throat> I'm getting ready. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? It was, I don't know if you can see it, two, seconds and 32 milliseconds. So it was two seconds with something. So I bet you can do it in one second. Can you do it in one second? No? No, maybe you can, who knows? Maybe you're flush, like fast as flush. No, <laughs> but at, at least I'm, I'm guessing you can do two seconds, okay? So we're gonna practice a little bit and then we're gonna take time. So please guys, remember, Maybe during the day, you don't have a time to practice this because you're busy, you're, do, you're doing many things and I get it and I understand it. But when you're here and you have the time for the English class, respect your time for your English class and try to practice, okay? That's gonna help you. I'm telling you this because sometimes I'm go, I go to the breaker rooms and I don't hear anyone practicing and that's, what the breaker rooms are for. So you can practice, you can speak, and it's not me speaking, it's you, okay? So I'm gonna send you there, we're gonna practice, and then we're gonna take times, okay? Is it clear? We're gonna go a little bit, I don't know, it, it, it won't be long because I need you to uh, do the ED practice, like the pronunciations of the verbs in the past. So we're gonna do this practice and then we're gonna do, I, I'm gonna, I think there's a tongue twister with the ED sound. I'm gonna look for it, okay? But right now we're gonna do this and we're gonna take times. Let's see. Oh, look David, today you're in the same record room without me assigning you.
Hello, good evening. Good evening. Sorry for the light, teacher. It's okay, don't worry. So I'm gonna send you uh, to break a room. Your classmates are taking the time today, okay? Taking okay. the time for the tongue twister. And then we're gonna go with the verbs in the past and we're gonna do also some pronunciation practices. Okay. Perfect.
Better. Better. Something like that. Very bad. Teacher, do you have the very bad uh, uh, tongue twister? We are looking for that one. We are uh, working with the with the with that one, but this is not the the, the same. We already do the chalk. How much would uh, we... Oh yeah, it's different. The one that you have right now is different. Yes, yes, Let yes. Me... Uh, we took the time, we took the time with this and each of one uh, about four seconds, I, I, I think. And I see Jocelyn was three seconds, I don't remember, but we took the time. No, it was four. four Freddy okay. was three seconds. Ready was okay. three. Okay, four seconds is uh, the average for us. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I wanna I wanna share the one that you're talking. Yes, I yes, yes. Go... We're looking for the very bad, very bad, very bad, very. I don't I don't remember what what was. Very bad and... of butter. Yes, very, but I, I was trying to copy. Very, uh, very bad, very bad, but some bad, but the bad, very bad, but big, so very bad, a better bad. I, I, I remember something like that. So uh, here I'm sharing it. Look. In the, in the WhatsApp group? Or, no, or no, the, here on Zoom. On Zoom, okay. I try to. Uh, you're writing no i share my the, screen the picture ah your screen sorry. You know. sorry but i was sharing I, I need to stop okay ah very bad a bit better okay let me take a screenshot Okay. okay. Very bad. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear the water dripping in my background? No. No. Okay. Not really. That's good. <laughs> so it's worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I don't know. But it was an average of four seconds to the breaker rooms that I went to. But yeah, we're getting there. Did someone got least than three seconds less than three seconds did you did you get less than three seconds william william okay william. who else Jarvin. Jarvin too. okay harvin william manuel manuel, yes, manuel. fatima you too Wow, look at you guys. So it means that you're doing really good. Perfect, perfect, okay. 
we're going to get to see that. We're going to get to see that. We're going to do some kind of a competition in a moment. Then we're going to see how good you're doing. Remember, this is for your pronunciation. And now, we have pronunciation. Wait a second. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go with the pronunciation of the regular verbs in the past, because I know it's a topic that may, might be confusing for some of you, because you see the ED to every single verb, but it doesn't mean that we're gonna say the ED just as it is. We have to make sure we say the T sound when it's T sound, the D sound, or the ED sound. So I'm gonna share some rules with you. Remember the last time that I told you, you can do the fingers thing here, right? So you go travel, it vibrates. So the last letter will be D, D sound, travel, D, D. And the, and the position of my mouth is like that, D, travel, D, travel, D. Now, if I wanna say another one like walk, and I want to add the T sound at the end, it's going to be walked, walked. It's a little bit of air. I don't know if you hear it. Walked, walked is air. Okay, so can you hear me? Because this yes. thing, I don't know, in the, in the class that I was teaching in the afternoon, if I move it. Uh-huh. So there's that thing. I don't know. I moved it and, and it does it. It didn't work anymore. Okay, but now it, it works, right? You can hear me? Okay, perfect, thank you. So the T sound and the D sound, we have to be very careful with that. Um, the move, like I will say, the easiest one is the one with the ED sound. Because if, if a verb ends with a T or a D, it's gonna be ED, like want, wanted, need, needed, just like that. It's not complicated at all. But the complicated part, it is when you don't know how to say it. So I was telling you, you can do this exercise. That worked for me, it worked, but I don't know if it is gonna work for you. So there's a rule where you can do it. Sorry, I was sharing this with your classmates, this one. All the letters, all these letters, they have this sound at the end. All these letters, they have this sound at the end. So if that works for you better, then you can do it, okay? Now, the pronunciation of ending in ED depends on the final consonant sound. That's what I told you. There are three ways of pronounce ED that ends uh, of a word in English, ED, T, and D. So, if you see here, for example, these all of these are pronounced with the letter t, t, just the t sound. It's not like it's gonna be help t, no. It's just a t sound. And the other ones are with the letter d. So if I wanna say any of these in the present, this will be help. You see, the final sound is p, p, help, help. But if I'm gonna talk about the past, then I'm not gonna end with p. I'm gonna end with t, t, okay? So it's gonna be helped, helped, helped. It's gonna sound, it's not gonna be helped. Don't overdo it, okay? It's just helped, helped. Then this one in the present is Look, the final song, look my mouth. Look, 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 look. But if I do it in the past, then I'm gonna add the t. Looked, 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 looked. In a slow motion, looked. Now, the present, look looked, 
look, looked. Okay. Now let's go with the D sounds. This one here, in the present, we will say call, call. I call you now, call. But if I called you yesterday, called. The D sound is a little bit uh, softer. Listen, called, 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 called. So if you want to think it about it like that, the T sound, it's going to be like, t, look the mouth, look to the mouth. T, t, t. Like, with, like you're smiling a little bit, like you're uh, uncomfortable. Uh, t, t, t. And the air is coming out of my mouth. T, t. But for the D sound, it's just like my tongue. So imagine these are my teeth. And this is my tongue. When I say the D sound, it's just like boom. Okay. If my teeth, if my tongue just hits my teeth like this. Cleaned. Cleaned. You see, there's no air coming out of my mouth. Cleaned. It's just like. And the other one is t, 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 and then the, the. So let's do it again. Walk, t, look, walk, t, cleaned, cleaned, the, the, like it's just t, cleaned, talked, cleaned, talked. Are you following me? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, that is very important. And I know it's very difficult because we see the ED and we're like immediately just thinking about saying it like as it is. But we have to practice, practice and practice a lot. I don't know if I shared, you see, shared is the shared. I don't know if I shared with you the Peter Piper tongue twister. No, teacher. Okay, so we're gonna see that one because that one is gonna help us with this pronunciation because it has one that is pickled, pickled, and then it has picked, picked. We're gonna see it. It goes like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? It's like that. And it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you with the d and it's gonna help you with that. But, okay, so the important thing here is, as I told you before, if you don't do it, like actually do it, nothing is gonna happen, okay? So if you don't practice it, it's not like magically, tomorrow you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be bilingual like a native speaker. That's not gonna happen. If it happened like that, we will all speak many languages. By now I could speak Spanish, English, French, German, I don't know, Hindi, many languages. I have tried to learn um, French, but I think that's too difficult. That's too difficult for me, like too difficult. Because I don't know, just try, try to learn the numbers in French. Uh, I don't know, I don't like it. The numbers, they are really complicated. Let's go back to English. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one because it has, well, but if it helps you guys, you can go with this, okay? If it ends with these letters, it's a rule that is gonna be t. If it ends with this one, it's a rule that is gonna be d, okay? Just like that. But to help you, we're gonna pay attention here. Now, Here we have k sound. So obviously, this is gonna sound like a T sound, okay? Then we have this one right here. 
this one ends with the letter okay pickled pickled it's gonna be at the sound and it's gonna repeat Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked you're gonna repeat it okay just T and D sound we're gonna say it like that now listen Pickled, 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 picked, pickled, picked, pickled. If you if you can take a screenshot of this, did you take a screenshot? Yep. Okay, perfect. Because I'm gonna show you something else every time. But I I think I have told you this. Oh, and also there's an app. I don't know if you have it. Elsa speak. You don't have it, Elsa? No. no. William does? You do have it, William? Yeah. And do you like it? Do you use it? Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Okay, so the situation with that app guys, it, is that Elsa speak is more like a pronunciation tool, okay? You can look for it. It's really good. I, I didn't have that when I was studying, but you can, you can do it. And it's going to show you how to say every word. And you can also write some um, phrases there, and it's going to tell you. The interesting part is that sometimes it's going to ask you to say some phrases and when you get a mistake it's gonna correct the mistake and it's gonna teach you how to do it so that's an app that you can use it's very good it's very good um i i discovered it from a student student told me hey teacher you know how i'm practicing i do i do the elsa thing and i was like what who is elsa like the frozen elsa it was like no it's an app teacher <laughs> and i felt so old when i say that <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. Mm. Wait a second. Every time I don't know how to say something, you can do Elsa or you can do this one. Look, it's here. So for example, I look for the pickled pronunciation. Now, here in this part, it shows the movement of the mouth when you are going to say that word. And here you can listen to it. Let me share the sound of my computer. Okay, listen. Pickled. But if I want to say it slower because I want to listen. Pickled. Pickled. If we say it slow, you can notice the d sound. But if you say it fast, it's going to be like pickled. 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 It's just like boom. It, it, the tongue just hits the teeth. And then boom, it's, it's over. It's just like that. Pickled. 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 Just like that. Now let's go with the pronunciation of picked. You see? We already have here the T sound. So basically that's how you have to say it. Picked. 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 You see? It's t, t at the end. Slower. Picked. 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 It's really soft. Picked. Just like that. Okay, so the situation here is that practice and see how the mouth says the word because it's, it's, that's what you have to pay attention to. Now, we're going to go with the tongue twister again. Uh, we have a lot of um, words there, a lot of words. 
But the most important ones are the ones that I want you to pay attention to. There are those special ones with the T and D sound. So let's go. So here is Peter. You already know that this sounds like a letter R, Peter. Piper. Now here is the important part. Picked. A pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? You see, when I say it slow, you hear the sound pickled, pickled. But it's going to sound like pickled, 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 pickled. It's just boom. The tongue hitting the teeth. Picked. Picked. Let's go one more time. I hope you're, you're repeating in your houses. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked if Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now, one of the most important things with the pronunciations in English is you have to be at the beginning, maybe you overdo the exercise or you over say the thing. For example, when I say over, I don't say over, right? But you get it, over, like very important. No, very important, no, very important. Now, here is the thing. For example, when I, I don't know if I told you, when I was living in the United States and I was teaching these um, first graders, how to say the letter R in Spanish. And it was really funny because they say the El Carro. El Carro es muy bonito. El Carro es rojo, like that. And I was really frustrated because I'm, I'm helping them with reading and pronunciation. And I said, how do you say that? Carro, rojo. It's like, no, es carro rojo. They were like, how? So I, I, I said, okay, do the just like that, right? Like, and they will do it. They, they will perfectly do it. Like, and they will say it. So I was like, okay, now with that sound, say carro. And then they will say carro. <laughs> and, and that was really funny. And now when I teach English, I hear the same thing. I say, okay, say picked. And then you will say, like that. <laughs> so it's not about overdoing the situation, it's that it's there for you to practice at the beginning, but it's not like you're gonna say it like that, okay? So don't do the carro thing in English, okay? <laughs> because that's gonna be you if you say pickled, picked, okay? No, it's not about that. Maybe you can do it at the beginning just to get used to, and then you start just a little soft. There's a big mistake that maybe everybody does when they are starting to learn English and they exaggerate, like overdo like the pronunciation. I don't know if you have heard that kind of people and they want to spell like something, I don't know, it's weird. And I'm like, no, don't do it. It's like you're speaking Spanish, but you're speaking English, right? It's, it's the same, but with different vocal cords and muscles, but now you like, you have to do something like weird. Okay, I'm gonna 
before we continue, I have to go with the attendance. Uh, I hope that we start soon, guys, for the next module. Because you're this close to finish, this close. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Fátima Lourdes Caitán Romero. Present. Uh, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Here, teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Here, Harpin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Madeline is here. Someone open the mic. Okay. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Um, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. Now let's go with that. Let's say, everybody, picked. Come on. Picked. Pickled. 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 Pick I want you to speak really good. And, and maybe sometimes the pronunciation is not the main problem. Sometimes it's how do I know when it's T and how do I know when it's T? I gave you two keys already. The sounds here and the other one is the letters. Okay, I'm gonna share uh, this one more time. You do it from your house is there. Repeat after me. Peter. Peter. Piper. 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 Picked. Picked. A peck. A peck. Of pickled. Of pickled. Of pickled. Peppers. Of pickled. Peppers. Peppers. A peck. A peck. A peck. A peck. Of pickled. Of pickled. Peppers. 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 Peter. 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 Piper. Piper. Picked. Picked. If Peter Piper. Peter Piper. If Peter Piper. Picked. Picked. Piper picked, picked, picked. A peck. A peck. A peck. A peck. A pickled. 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 Peppers. 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 Where's. 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 The peck. The peck. The peck. The peck. The peck. Of pickled. Of pickled. 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 Peppers. 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 Peter. 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 Piper. Piper. Picked. Picked. One more time, just picked. 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 Pickled. Pickled. Picked. Picked. Pickled. Pickled. Okay, now let's pay attention to this. I can teach you many grammar stuff, but the most important thing is that you're not gonna be teachers. Are you gonna be English teachers? Yes. <laughs> you, you, that's your case, David? I, I teach math in English. 
you teach math and English. Okay. okay. Yes. Well, everybody except David, <laughs> or like we will say in English, everybody but David. Okay. Yes. Okay, everybody but David. You don't need to understand the grammar behind it. What you need to understand is the pronunciation. That's the most important thing. For example, when I say the word important, you see, I don't say important. That's incorrect. If you say it's, let's look and pay attention to this. It's very important. <laughs> very, who's Betty? Where is Betty? Very important. <laughs> Is that a name? Betty is the name, important is the last name? No. Very, very important. Important, important. It's soft, it's really soft, okay? Sometimes there are letters in English that they are not say in the sentence, but they are silent, okay? They are silent, uh, it's weird, English is weird. Okay, I'm gonna give you some time to practice the pronunciation with this specific little twister, but I do really want you to practice, okay? Again, learning is individual. If you don't want to practice, you don't turn, you turn off your camera, you turn off your mic, that's on you. But if you have the chance, just practice, okay? Because then you're working during the day and you don't have the time to do it. Is the activity clear right now? Remember, what you have to pay attention to, it's picked, pickled, picked, pickled. When you come back, we're gonna do some other exercises to improve those pronunciations. And we're gonna have some conversations about the past. They are gonna get interesting. They always get interesting.
pick up the cult. Picks. Oops, so this is Peter Packet Picket, a pick, a pick, a picket papers, a picket picket papers, Peter Packet Pick. If a Peter Packet Picket, a picket picket papers, where is the picket picket papers, Peter Packet Pick? One second. Hey, um, Erwin, just let yes. me correct something. When you say yes. picket, is picked. Yes, picked. So picked. Picked, picked yes. Yes. Peter by the pick a uh, pick.
Welcome back. So I went to the break rooms and it seems like you are, I don't know how to say this. Some of you were practicing, some others were not. Surprises me because a group that was not practicing is not here yet. Okay, so I'm guessing that you finished practicing. I'm saying finished, it meant that maybe now you're perfect at saying the tongue twister. <laughs> perfect, no teacher, but better, better than, than the first time. <laughs> I'm telling you because I went to some breakout rooms and I heard silent. If I could drop this, boom, you will hear it at the other side of the screen. Well, in my case, because remember guys, if you say, ah, I'm done practicing, I finished, you're going to be like, eh, no, I don't think so. Because if you say it perfectly now, maybe you have finished. But if you don't, you haven't finished. Now, maybe something that can help you is try to record yourself saying the tongue twister. And you're going to see what I see. You're going to hear what I hear. Okay, so maybe you're like, yes, I'm saying it good. I, I'm, I'm such a pro now, I say it perfect. Listen, try to listen <laughs> and then tell me. You're gonna see like, uh, yeah, did I say that? Because it's like speaking English here. And our minds, on our minds, we're like perfect speaking English. Here inside, it's like, I'm such a pro, I'm really good at English, but when I try to speak, I'm like, um, um, uh, that, um, um, yes, okay, something like that, we're, we're, we're speaking like that. What I would like you to do is try to record yourselves and you're gonna see the problem. You're gonna hear what I hear. And then you're gonna try to improve because I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say what breaker room. I went to and I heard, and I heard piqued, picled, picoled, pickled. Okay. And I'm like, did they hear, did they hear what I said in the breaker room? But I mean, the main session, I don't know if maybe you were paying attention and then you forgot. Maybe, but I want you to say it perfectly. If I give you the time to practice pronunciation, it's because I know you don't have time during the day. I know you're busy. So I want you to practice here when we're in the class. And then you have your time to say it as much as you can. Or for example, are you the kind of person that goes to the gym? You're like, okay, I did 30 minutes. I'm here 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Now I'm ready. I'm a fitness person. Or do you go, you sweat, you stay there, right? Until you have achieved your goal. The same thing with English. It's the same thing. Okay, let's do some other exercises about the that pronunciation, the ED sounds. Uh, set. Okay, here it is. Uh, I'm sorry, I was about to sneeze, but I didn't. It went away. Okay. This one. Do you think the sound is T, D, or E, D? What is it? I guess it's D. D? D. D. Mm -hmm. The second D. one, teacher. The D. second D. one. Yes. 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 D. So the pronunciation mm -hmm. will be? Rained. 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 Exactly. Rained. Now, this one, let's see this one. What do you think? Like, it's? First one. Yes, the first time. One. E. E. It's going to be what? The pronunciation? Ask. Ask. Asked. 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 Okay, this one. 
Need it. This is the theater. Exactly. I did. Need it. Need it. Need it. Okay. Then this one. D. Word. D. D. Yes. D. Word. 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 Yes. Word. The first one. The first one. Like. 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 What is it? Like. T sound. T sound. T sound. Okay. Yeah. This one? D. This is D. 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 Stop it. No, it's D. No. D. Stop. D. Stop. 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 Let's look here. Let's look D. here. Stop. It stands, Stop. With, it stands with a P. You see? It's a P. Stop. Go get the T sound. Laugh. G H, you see? It's not a D. D. You see? Love. Help. D. D. Help. I D. E D. I don't. Good. D. 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 Let's see. Good job, excellent. You did an amazing job. Now, recognizing it, yes. But what about saying it? Now I'm, I will ask <laughs> some students to say these words because yeah, you know when it's D and T and it D sound, but do you know when is the, like how to say it, actually say it? So let's go. I'm gonna start with Telma. Telma, help me with the first one. Rained. Excellent. Good job, Thelma. Mm -hmm. David. Asked. Excellent. Good job. William. Needed. Excellent. Andres. Worked. Excellent. Fatima. Liked. Excellent. Manuel. Stops. Stops. Stopped. Mm, Stops. It's because you I think you're doing like an S sound. Stops. <laughs> but it's stopped. Stopped. Yes. There. Yeah, good job. Good job. Jessica. Loud. What is it? Loud. Okay. It's laughed. I'm sorry. Loud. It's with like with the letter F. I don't know, like laugh? Loud. No, like this, look. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's quite. It's laughed. Exactly like that, laughed. Okay, thank you. Fernando. Hat. Excellent, good job. Doris. Counted. Yes, counted. Counted, okay. Erwin. Answered. Answered, yes, answered. Yes, thank you very much. Answered, remember it's cert. Okay, good job guys. It seems like you're improving, but when you recognize what individual word you say, but join in a, group of words, will you, still, will you still say it correctly? Do you think? Or not? That's the main question. Okay, we're gonna do an exercise. Let me share this screen now. Okay, look here. It's phonetics. Listen and tick. T, D, and E, D sound. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Listened. Listened. T, D, E, D. T. D. 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 Listen. Listened. Listened. Climbed. 
climbs. Climbs. It's like D too. D. 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 I'm yes. going to do this exercise. So I'm not going to do it for you. Okay, that's the second one. You're going to hear the sound and you're going to click on the one that you think it is. Right now, here, without hearing the audio, in this one, look, what do you think it is? I'm not going to say it either. What do you think it is? T, D, or E, D? E, D. E, D. Let's listen. Activity two. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Listen and tick the sound you hear. Invented. The so you're going to go here? Yes. Clapped. The right? T, and yes. Activity now. And then you're going to write, look and write the words from the box on each column. Mm -hmm. Worked. Yes. So obviously. Right? Yes? Yes. You got it? Yes, teacher. It's super easy to do. More than easy. And I think you're perfect at it because you're advanced level. <laughs> you're not basic level. I'm surprised because when I uh, I teach... Uh, wait a second. Yes. When I teach uh, basic levels, it's very difficult for them.
Teacher, we have a question. Okay, what is the question? In uh, activity number three, uh, which one is right and which one is wrong? Uh, it's uh, the one that is marked with red, the uh, wrong ones, or the one that is marked with like, like green, uh, the, the wrong ones or the right ones? The wrong ones are the red ones. And the thing is that you place them in different order. First one was mild and then climbed, but they are in the correct columns. Just remember uh, that, um, uh, yeah. Just remember that this is artificial intelligence, so it won't recognize if you did it right, right. But I get it, you did a good job. It's just that you first, if you pay attention, the first word is, is mild in the order and then it's climbed. So that's how it recognizes. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Good job. What is your grade? Can you go up? Hmm? Up, 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 up. Okay. Okay. Adapter, your mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, th I see your plane. <laughs> what was your grade? Oh, you didn't you didn't let your grade? I, I can see your grade. We yes. have nine. Nine. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nine. Yeah. A lot of people call me for my birthday. A lot of people call me for my birthday. Present or past? A lot of people call me for my birthday. I can I can hear a difference in the sound, yes, but yes, I know yes. that it's it's past. A lot of people call me for my birthday. Oh, for the context, I, I, we know that it's past. Yeah, but I can hear the difference. People call me for my birthday. Call call me for my birthday. Call me. Call me. It needs to be past. <laughs> Hello. So I would like to say congratulations. You did a good job. And also you gave the extra mile because you like two of the breaker rooms that I went to, you were already doing some other exercises. And I really appreciate that. Actually, David was taking away my job. He was being the teacher of a small group. <laughs> Which is good. Thank you, David. <laughs> Very good teacher. Yes. And he was, uh, they were doing some exercises there and some other group that I went to, they were, they were doing some, of, some other exercises as well. And that's good because, you know, I'm here to guide you, but not to be you. Okay. It, your English is your thing. So how you improve it, 
I give you the tools, but you're the ones who actually do something about it. And now, I think Teacher, we're... We, we have a doubt in the, in the first exercise. Okay. And in, in the word jumped because the, the page said that is a D sound, mm -hmm. but we hear the T sound. Jumped. Let me look yeah. for it because I know. Yes. William. You heard it's incorrect in the platform, it's incorrect. Uh, we think, we think because Look. we hear the T sound. It's T. Mm -hmm. Jumped. We can hear you. Okay, now yes. Jumped. Jumped. Yes, it's T. Jumped. Mm -hmm. Jumped. Yes. Yeah, it was a mistake in the platform. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, it was a mistake in the platform. I saw that. So anyways, if you got that one wrong, it's like you got anything, like nothing wrong. Okay, tomorrow, we're gonna have some conversational activity. And these conversations, they always get really, I don't know, interesting because people like to talk. They like to talk about these things. I'm just gonna show you the, the questions. We're gonna do, uh, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna discuss them tomorrow. Okay, so these are the questions, look. So we're gonna talk about many different things. So this one got, get, gets people talking. This one too. This one gets a lot of people talking. Do you remember your first crush? How was it? <laughs> and so many people are like, ah, oh, teacher, if I tell you that story, I was very little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and remember, a crush can be you were maybe five years old and you were like, wow, that person is really beautiful or something like that. When we're, we're, we're little, we're like that. Look, Francisco is giving some hearts. <laughs> so those questions are the ones that I'm, we're going to talk about tomorrow, and they are going to help us with pronunciation as well. And they are going to get you talking in the past tense. So we're going to see how you're going to use the past tense already. Okay, I'm just gonna confirm the people that are here. Okay, let's see, Kenya is not here. No. Madeline? No. Marlon Stanley? And nope. Then let me see. All the other ones are here. Okay, you guys. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate your punctuality. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Please come here tomorrow. We're gonna have a really fun activity with those questions. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be good. Be ready to answer some questions, some interesting questions. Okay, have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye yeah. teacher. Bye, Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye, -bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.